Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey. Welcome back, y'all. Y'all already know for what? A quick little video. Y'all know how I do. I step out a little bit, but I'm coming right back, okay? I'm coming right back. Now, y'all, y'all wanted to know, you know, why I haven't did no reaction to this whole uh, content creator, the chosen one. Um calling people poor <laughs> yeah. now i was in the bushes and i was looking at everything that was going on and i gotta tell y'all it was definitely entertaining <laughs> it was entertaining okay now peach got really 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 okay upset the girl got upset okay and it sort of stemmed from people comments and things like that but this peach what you gotta understand about you know you gotta like these reactors that you you know you you, you want to go back and forth with you you know um i'm trying to tell you peach you might want to research them because a lot of them <laughs> They don't care. They do not care. You want to go back and forth? They going back and forth. You want to agitate? They agitate. And they don't care. <laughs> now, what I'm going to say about this right here, Peach, um, I was, um, let's see how I can put this. I was surprised at the way, you know, you, you you know you came on here and you were dressed it we're gonna go ahead and i'm gonna play you know i think it's three shorts that you came on here to address this i don't get it how come it ain't funny no more oh it was funny when y'all was talking about my baby how it was real funny when y'all was even talking about my husband how y'all was talking about my husband i tell you one thing she wasn't talking to me because i could stand up beside peach all right any time of the day and run circles around her if i needed to <laughs> so look peach where you messed up at is this right here your choice of words even though that's what you were thinking even though that that's what you thought was correct to say were very poor it made me look at you completely different i will say that you supposed to be a business woman so you say you supposed to be a motivational speaker so you say you supposed to be a great marketer suppose you say so with that being said, you came on here and you already don't get it twisted. Act ratchet. You already do that, okay? I got to give credit where credit is due. And you absolutely get that credit that you are already ratchet. You, another credit I'll give you, as I've always said, you are a great marketer. Another credit that I will give you, as you always uh, say, you are extremely 
motivated. That I will give you. I can't take none of that from you. I can't take the ratchet and the ghettoness and, and you know the unclassiness out of you. I can't do it. Okay. The chosen one, Peach, you made yourself look stupid. You made yourself look so stupid. It ain't make no sense. When I tell you that you look stupid, you look girl, girl, for you to come up here and address that the way you address it. I don't know who was in your comments that pissed you off or whatever. But one thing I will say is this right here. I have seen your daughter hair not done. And I will say it may be only about once or twice, okay, that I've seen. Any other time I have seen your daughter hair laid to the gods, okay? So with that being said, you mean to tell me you had to get yourself up on here on this platform and show some pictures. You had to do that. Now, don't get it twisted. I know sometimes you got to, you know, do certain things when people call you a liar or people try to put you out there because I had to do it a couple months ago when people decided to lie on me. OK, so I totally, totally get it. But to come in the ring and to go back and forth because someone said something about your daughter's hair not done on a passport. Girl. You got Jasmine, you got Chrissy, you got Liz, you got Ileana, you got uh, so many different people, you know, that are moms, and they get that same uh, comment. Oh, your kid's hair not done. Okay. It wasn't no need for how you jumped out. See, one thing you got to learn, Peach, what you don't get, you got to learn to pick your battles. And that battle that you picked, it ain't do nothing but take a seed and blossom it into one of the biggest flowers, okay? Because now, all right, now you done blown everybody. Now you done call people poor. They don't like that. The people that watch you, Peach, the people that watch you watched you when you had the food stamps, when you had the medical assistance. And a lot of those people, I'm not going to call them poor. You really shouldn't have said it. Because again, those people that have been watching you when you were on food stamps and things of that nature, those were people that were kind of in the same situation that you were in. They were working with you because they saw what you were doing and they was trying to, you know, come up as well when you did that the chosen one it made you look like a complete jack ass i gotta give it to you you get the jack ass of the month award that's absolutely what you get now you got everybody on youtube talking about you and how unprofessional and how nasty and how disgusting that you are now see you don't know how the reaction part of youtube work in this video okay you said that um you would really make people cry uh blood boogers and snot something like that that you said so i'm gonna go ahead and put you down real real quick Peach, you've been doxxed. All right. The people that do reactions on you mostly, okay, they all have been doxxed, including myself. See, I didn't have to come up on here and brag about nothing because nobody believed me. But then when it was doxxed and put out, then it was a whole different ball game. So therefore, the point that I'm making is that you, can't make none of us, especially the ones that's been docked, you can't make us cry worth nothing. Nothing. Not a tear. You couldn't make us mad. You can't make us sad. It is nothing that you can do. <laughs> We've all, we all have been docked, whether if it was a good doc or whether if it made you look like, uh-huh, a um hypocrite. Or if you were doxxed and um, you coming up on here acting a certain type of way, but then you were doxxed and we find out that it's a whole ball game, then it's like, whoa. So with that being said, to go through that, it hardens you on YouTube. So you can't be hurt no more. It's nothing nobody can do. 
So Peach, you better like take it back a minute and think about it because girl, we don't care. Not to mention, you got some people on this actual platform, Peach, I'm gonna tell you, they live to go back and forth. They live for a good old fashioned drag. They live to get up and agitate you every single day. <clears throat> mm -hmm. When you strike somebody video, Peach, let me tell you how it go down. That person most of the time is going to come after you and come after you and come after you until they feel like stopping it. Peach, it's a lot of people on this platform. Kids hair that has been talked about. That makes you no different. The reactors that are reacting on you, we get talked about. We don't care. At least I don't care. Okay? I don't care. All right. It seems Peach. See, I did a video about Peach or whatever back in January of 21. Now, people are saying that, you know what I mean, I was the first one to address Peach or whatever. And let me go ahead and kick you credit where credit is due because that's what your girl Reese does over here. I myself was not the first to react on Peach. Blama was the first to react on Peach. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not mistaken, she tried to strike Blama or something then. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong. But yeah, she was the first one to react on her. Okay? All right, then it was me, okay? Um, and then after me, well, you know what? Let me say this. When Blama reacted on Peach, nobody wanted to touch her. Nobody wanted to touch her. Y'all know how I get down. I'm going to tell you the truth. When Blama reacted on her, I wouldn't touch her. I went over there and I was like, no, nah, I ain't even touching her or whatever. I absolutely did. So then one day, she came out with a video and they were at Best Buys. That's when I decided to go ahead and react on her. And that was in 20, one of 21. Okay. Um, I think I might have did a video before that. I'm not really sure, whatever. But um, yeah, that's when I decided to react on her. She was going to Best Buy. Her hair was all over her head. All over her head. And um, I did a reaction to it. When I did the reaction to it, the very next day, Peach went and started getting her hair done. That's what she did. Matter of fact, let me pull this video up and I'm going to put it in here real quick. One second. This right here was the video, y'all. That I did. And y'all can see it was January 9th, 2021. So this is it. It was January the 9th, 2021. All right, Peach McIntyre. What in the Jeeper Creepers? All right. Yeah, that, that's the video. When I did that video at that time, nobody wanted to even touch her as well. Basically, uh, it was another reactor. Okay. Um, because see, how it works is that a lot of people, they jump on a bandwagon. When they see something going down, they're like, oh, let me hurry up. This person getting views on it. Let me go hurry up and react to it. Okay. Now, it's funny because you got everybody coming out the woodworks reacting. Oh, well, I don't really um react on her, but um, okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, one of the reactors, you know what I mean? They, they just did it because they thought they was going to, they did a reaction of her going to go buy a Michael Kors bag. And I'm like, and I'm sitting here, y'all already know how, and I'm like, oh, okay, so now, all right, you done seen, so therefore you want to do a reaction about her going to get a McCor girl, go sit down, bye. But anyway, yeah, this is it right here. All right, so anyway, getting back to it, um, yeah, Peach, it made you look like a complete idiot. Let's go ahead and listen to this next one. Now, in that actual uh, video, Peach, that you did the short, you said that, oh, and people wanted to do exactly what I wanted to do. They went to go get a passport, girl, Peach. A passport. Do you think that is something big about a passport? 
a, a passport peach. I mean, gir girl, anybody can get a passport peach. I went to Korea for two weeks. All right, Korea, Seoul. Okay, um, now that's a very, very, very expensive trip. But if y'all play y'all credit cards right and cash back and stuff, a lot of these places where y'all go will pay for itself. I'm gonna leave it at that. It will pay for itself. You just gotta know how to do it. See, that's the problem. You wanna come up on here, you know what I mean? And, and I mean, the things that you say and that you discuss, um, it's kind of funny because just like I said, you brag. And it's funny because the stuff that you brag about, I mean, it's really, it's like, girl, people go to the Gucci store and go to the Louis store on a daily basis. Like you're not doing nothing that ain't nobody else doing. You're not doing anything. Oh, I had the kids on a plane and stuff. You bragging about that, Peach. Um, when I get on a plane, um, there are times where though my son normally will sit, you know, with his dad or whatever, right? But um, I kind of don't like people because I'm an introvert. That's the reason why y'all don't see me go live. I'm an introvert and it feels really, really weird. Now, the last time, let me tell you something real quick, real quick. So I'm on the plane. I'm sitting by the window. And the lady comes up and she put her stuff in the seat and everything. And, you know, and I'm looking at her. And I was like, ma'am, you can't sit there. The lady was like, what? So I told the lady she can't sit there. So she goes and she get the stewardess. So the stewardess come down, right? She was like, ma'am. Um, the lady said that she can't sit there. She can sit there. And I said, ma'am, I bought this seat as well. It's reserved. <laughs> See, the things that you come up on here and brag about, it makes, girl, go sit down somewhere. Girl, I would have fun with you, buddy. I would have fun with you. Oh, yes, I would. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, Pete, you made yourself look stupid. I'm sorry, baby. You made yourself look extra 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 stupid all right okay all right so so moving on oh, Eddie, I tell me that funny no more. oh it was funny when y'all was talking about baby high it was real funny when y'all was even talking about my husband oh that was funny when she called y'all Let's go to the next one. Yep, let's go right on ahead. Fuck out. And I don't give a fuck how none of y'all feel about it. Fuck you. Hey, I saw him. 
Yeah, so Peach, that one right there, what you just said, let me tell you this right here. I don't care how you feel about it either and right back at you. What struck me was the fact that you said you don't care about your kid's hair being done. And you said that you don't care about your hair being done. So let's break it down. Your child is a reflection of you. And I'm sure you understand what that means. I don't even have to give you a definition for that. But again, your child is a reflection of you. Next, children are one of the cruelest individuals. Okay. Children will say the meanest things to people because you know why they don't understand. I don't know if your daughter is around other kids. I mean, I don't know, okay? But you may want to think about that as well. Now, Peach, you keep your hair done. So at the same token, all of your offsprings, their hair should be cut and their hair should always be done. Being as though you are a what? A public figure a YouTuber, a six-figure YouTuber, the chosen one that you call yourself, whether you like it or you don't, your children should be coming up on here clean and crisp. Absolutely. When I tell you that you looked absolutely ridiculous in that video, you did. It was ridiculous. Now, the whole poor comment. My thing was, um, listen to it. If it didn't apply, let it fly. But again, you have subscribers, whereas though they did not like what you said. All right, they didn't like it. The problem was, was that you were so pissed of what was being said that you came up on here and you tried to find one word that you felt would cut everyone that was talking to you. But Peach, let me tell you something. I don't know if you know, but some reactors that do videos and reactions on you, they're not poor. They can walk circles around you. They can stand beside you, in front of you, and back of you, and do whatever it is that you do when you go in these stores and do it better. All right. Some of these people can teach you a thing or two. That's why I tell you, don't brag. It's tacky. It's a different way, you know, that you can let people know, uh-huh, that you got coins. It's a different way. Absolutely it is. See, Peach, the chosen one, you come up on here and then you have your little Peach Pack creatures that try to come and try to, you know what I mean, bully you and tell you what you can say and tell you how much you're a hater and tell you that you're mad because she's successful and tell you that you don't have any money and you're mad because she has all the money. Now, what I'm going to tell y'all, don't come over here because y'all already know when y'all do, I say what I got to say to y'all and I send y'all soul right where it came from. And then you know what? You don't even comment back because I done told you don't play with me. All right. Don't come over here. When you come on here in a way, you know, you, you, you know, you do the things that you do. Peach, I don't know if you know, but you don't have a seven day a week maid. You don't have a butler. You don't have a driver. You don't have a cook. You don't have a makeup all, um, artist. You don't even have your own island. You don't have a publicist. You don't have a private jet. You don't even have a financial advisor. You jumped out. You got yourself a nanny. Your nanny that you got probably don't even have any teaching and autism with your son. Probably none. Okay. 
You have so much, but what you need most of all is a stylist and definitely a publicist because you have no idea what to say out of your mouth at times. If you did, you wouldn't look classless and you wouldn't sound classless, okay? So the stylist will make you look classier. The publicist will make you sound better and less ratchet and ghetto. You say that you are the chosen one, but the chosen one, they don't even want to wear a girdle. No, the chosen one thinks it looks good. No, as a boss, as a motivational speaker, and you're speaking to people and walking out in the park, yeah, you need a girdle. I see you up there doing a motivational speaker with that DD dress on, I don't care. I'm walking right out. I said what I said and I meant what I said. I'm walking out because you look ridiculous. See, that's the problem. People, they think that, you know, your head has gotten too big for your own good. See, Peach, the chosen one, they don't act like that. They don't act like that at all. Through the last couple of days, I have seen you turn into a five-year-old child. I have seen you turn, <laughs> I have seen you do temple tantrums, all types of stuff. You say you're not coming up on here saying nothing about the negativity, and then you do it. You still do it. Makes no sense to me, but it is what it is. So y'all, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and slide on out of here. Chosen one, Peach, get it together, all right? And I'm going to see all of you beautiful people in what? The next video. Later.